Welcome to part four of the NGPF Desmos tutorial series. This series is in support of our financial algebra curriculum. For more details about this free math and personal finance course, visit ngpf.org. In this video, we're going to be covering entering information in table form and setting the viewing window so that we can see that data. So let's hop right in. Okay, so you can see that I have the uh, blank Desmos uh, graphing calculator up here. Okay, and uh, in these boxes on the left hand side, we've typically just been typing in equations, but you can actually type in a lot more than just an equation. So if you go up to the top left here, you can see how there's a, a plus sign that says add item. Right? If I click on this, I can add an expression, which is what we've been doing. And I can also add a bunch of other things like notes, tables, folders, and images. We're going to choose table, right? So you can see that when I do that, instead of uh, having a box that I can type an equation into, I now have something that I can type in uh, something a little bit more specific table-wise, right? So I'm just going to create a quick one and say, let's go uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12, right? And then my y values are going to be 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45, okay? So if you notice, uh, I have this data, it's labeled as X1 and Y1, and that allows us to create several different tables, which will be X2 and Y2, et cetera, okay? I have the option here uh, in the uh, box to customize the, the points that are being graphed, but right now my issue is that I can't see the graphs, right? So I could drag around and I can look for this data and say, oh, there's a point, here's a point, right? And I can do it manually like that, but we have this button down here that's called Zoom Fit, and if I click on that, it's just going to uh, put all of the points that I've graphed into the best viewing window that it can. And that's a lot easier than having to drag and resize and do all of that. And then if I want to further customize this, I can go up to my graph settings and maybe I want it to count by ones instead of fives or something like that. Okay. Now that I can see my points, I'm just going to go to this button at the top. And again, you're going to uh, left click and hold and it will bring you the option to customize the uh, the points. So you can, again, make them uh, open circles instead of close. You can make them X's, right? You can adjust the thickness of them so I can make them bigger, right? You can make them uh, more transparent by lowering this number down to like a 0.2, right? So we have a lot of different options here. The biggest one that most people want is to change the color, right? So if you just want them to be black, right? Or you want to uh, have different colors for different sets of points, right? You can do that. Right. You also have the option to connect them with lines, right? So if you're doing some kind of a bar chart, or I'm sorry, a line graph, uh, you can customize that as well, okay? And then you also have the option to drag these points, right? So if you want to make them movable, right, uh, you can make them movable in any direction that you want. So, you, for example, you can see that this point, uh, I'm able to move around anywhere I want and place it, okay? I can then go back in here and I can change it to just being able to move up and down, right? If I try to move left and right, that doesn't work, right? And then I also have the option to just do left and right. And you can see that that setting is showing up in the top right corner here, right? So now this point is just movable left and right. So if you have some kind of a, a discussion and you want some interactivity with these points, uh, you can set the, uh, the points to be draggable as well. 